was on the lovely island of Malta, where an enormous transport had to be carried out for the Ina Malta Gas Company. Ina Malta Gas Company decided to enlarge their storage capacity of propane, gas, and purchase for this purpose four gas tanks of 32 meters length, a diameter of 3 meter 80, and a weight of 110 tons. The tanks had to be transported from Le Havre in France to the job site in Malta. For, for this complicated door-to-door -door transport, one had selected the Geneva-based heavy lift company Jumbo Shipping. It, it was the motor vessel Airload, which successfully shipped all tanks from Le Havre to Malta, where they were unloaded by the ship's 160 tons heavy derricks. In order to discharge a ship as quick as possible and to be independent from trailers, one prepared concrete supports with jacking beams on the quayside on which the tanks were placed. As you can imagine, it requires careful planning to discharge these kind of tanks from a specialized ship as a fair load. From the Yumbo ship specialist, though, it was one of the other odd jobs to be carried out in combination with land transport to the job site, which was 10 kilometers away from Malta Harbor. Yumbo Shipping operates a fleet of 11 specially designed heavy lift vessels. The powerful loading and discharging gear with its capacities from 60 to 700 tons can operate independently from local harbor facilities. Units up to 100 meters in length can be accommodated. The ships sail worldwide and have a shallow draft which permits them to operate in shallow waters. A specially designed and patented ballast tank installed prior to the discharge operation increases ship stability and decreases the degree of heel during unloading. The Yumbo ships are backed by an organization of technical experts who have proved to be able to find a solution for every transport problem. No Yumbo ship is loaded or discharged without a specialist of Yumbo's operation department being present to supervise and coordinate the entire procedure. After discharging two tanks on supports, on the key side, the ship was shifted backwards to, so that the remaining two tanks could be offloaded in line with the first ones. During the discharge operation of these 110 ton pieces, it is obvious that the ship's heel had to be compensated by counterballast. This was controlled from the bridge. As expected, the last tank was discharged safely onto cribbing two days after the ship's arrival in Malta.
Again, the ship was shifted so that the remaining general cargo could be offloaded. With the discharge of the fairload, Jumbo's responsibility did not end. Now, the last complicated part of the job started. Land transport from Malta Harbour through narrow streets and villages over a distance of 10 kilometers to the job site near Marsak's Lock. For this operation, Jumbo Shipping had chartered the Italian heavy transport company Fumagalli. Two five axle line platform trailers, two heavy duty prime movers, and other related equipment were shipped by ferry boat from Naples to, Na to Malta to perform the planned transport operation. These special platform trailers have a built in hydraulically operated jacking system which enables them to roll underneath the load and take it over from the supports. This system was used to load and offload the heavy tank gas tanks without help of a crane. After a careful check, the first transport combination was ready to roll on Saturday the 19th of July 1980. By means of an independent diesel-driven pump unit, the rear dolly can be steered manually. The second prime mover was connected to the rear dolly and there goes the transport combination with a gross vehicle weight of 190 metric tons. These escorts were mobilized and cleared the way for a transport which had never happened before on the island of Malta. At front one used a 360 horsepower Bellier tractor and the rear dolly was pushed by a 310 ton horsepower Magirus. By means of the hydraulic axle suspension system, the load is equally divided over each of the 80 tires. It is obvious that it is not an easy task to maneuver a tank of this size through the town's narrow streets. Nevertheless, the Jumbo specialists know their job and all narrow curves were made without a problem.
For some of Malta's inhabitants, this really was an unusual monster. Quite a few overhanging wires had to be lifted to let the transport combination pass. Some of the culverts under the road were reinforced to ensure that no damage was made to the public roads. The public works department, telephone and electricity works, as well as the local police were all in action to ensure a smooth ride of the tanks to its final destination some 10 kilometers away. Slopes with a gradient of 8 till 10 percent were taken without great difficulty. Both tractor units proved to be strong enough. At the arrival on the job site, the first tank was unloaded on concrete blocks by means of the built-in hydraulic jacking system of the trailer. The other three tanks were transported the following two days, hereby completing another successful Jumbo job well ahead of schedule.